Hello YouTube, Destination Lego here and welcome to another sort of vintage Lego set review. The reason I say sort of guys, because obviously that term vintage um, does tend to mean very old. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the set I'm about to show you, um, which is what you can see here on the instructions, is set 6649 and this is the Street Sweeper and this is from 1995. So at the time of making this video, that makes this set uh, around about 19 years old. So it is a pretty old set, um, but vintage-wise, arguably not. Um, but I'm going to class this as vintage anyway. So, yeah, so we can see the set there. So as I've got the instructions out, let's take a quick look at those instructions now. Um, obviously the build inside... Um, the thing to point out really and the other thing is on the rear of this set um, it does kind of show two other alternate builds obviously we have that one at the top there which is more of a kind of dragster car um, and then down there we have another I'd say cleaning utility vehicle um, uh, but yeah there we go instructions pretty good condition considering the age so let's take a look at the actual vehicle itself Okay guys, there we go, so there's the first look at our street sweeper. Um, so let's take a 360 view of this vehicle now. And finally back around to the starting position, so this set does come with one minifigure, so let's pop him out of the street sweeper and take a look at him. Okay, so look at our minifigure, obviously plain blue legs. So we do have printing on the torso. Um, so we've got some sort of jacket on, but here in his uh, pocket, um, looks like there's some sort of ID pass um, poking at the top of his pocket there. Um, and obviously comes with the red uh, baseball style cap. So let's take a 360 view of him. Okay, and back around the front, so let's just remove that baseball cap. And a bit of better look at that face print in there, obviously wearing those uh, sunglasses to protect him while he's out in the sunshine doing his street sweeping. Okay, so that's our minifigure, so let's take a look at the street sweeper itself now. Okay guys, so a few things to point out. Let's start at the front with the actual main, I guess, street sweeping or cleaning mechanism. So this is on a ball joint here so this can um, as you can see there rotate from tilt from side to side rather um, and then swivel round like so um, the actual brush on here this does spin hopefully you can see that so when it's sweeping along it will actually pick pieces up so we'll actually will actually clean if you're doing this on a carpet will pick pieces up but then obviously they will tend to get stuck inside um, this brush. Um, if we move down the side of the vehicle, obviously we can see the cap there, but I'll give you a better look at that in a second. Um, we have this clip here, and I'll show you what that's for in a second on the other side. Um, we have a shovel here on the side um, on a clip, so obviously this uh, can come off and simply clip back onto the side there. Uh, if we carry on round to the rear, um, we have these um, sort of taps or hose areas here um, which are obviously going to spray the floor as it's going along um, so that's going to obviously help to clean the surface uh, round to the other side we have a brush on this side and again that can just clip on and off down there in that clip um, this here again is for um, it's like a hose you would have seen these on street sweepers or street cleaners so that would go down to the ground like so um, and that's what you tend to see um, going along the curbs or the edges of the footpaths obviously rotating around and cleaning the surface and at the same time sucking up any debris um, etc so as I pointed out that clip there because you can see this side there's one here so you can actually take this off if you wanted to 
um, and place it on that side so it can be clean in. Obviously, that side of the curb going in that direction um, as opposed to that direction. Um, so that's kind of the exterior of the vehicle. Um, there's the roof area. Um, does have this flashing light there. At the front there, there is this spotlight. And that can obviously be positioned down there. And the main purpose of that is to light, obviously, the uh, road up in front of him when it's getting a little bit dark or getting to dusk. Um, so that you can obviously still see what he's doing. Okay, so then we have our main cab area and the way to access that is again on the roof here. You can see here there's a hinge mechanism. So this will simply, he says simply, open up like so on that hinge. Um, and again, this is one of the older sets that has this, call it a sunroof in the top here. And this again can open, it's easier to push it from there. So yeah, there you can see that now open up so that can be closed down and be left open or at an angle like so. We tilt that forward, you can see there's no seat, obviously just the plate area there where we can sit the minifigure and a steering wheel and obviously that very large windscreen area there. So let's get on minifigure and just place him back inside. Okay there we can go, you can see the minifigure now in the cab. We'll just push that roof back down and clip that back into place. Um, and he's all ready to go. So put the side down, lower this to the ground, and off he goes. Okay, guys, there we go. That's my quick review of this uh, older set. I hesitate to call it a vintage set, um, but I will. Um, so this is the Street Sweeper set 6649 from 1995. Let me know what you guys think. Um, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and please take a look at my other videos. I have many, many videos on here now at this stage, so feel free to look through my playlists and uh, see what uh, takes your fancy. Anyway guys, uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!